Many years ago, this used to be a very, very Indian shot, but I think today it's become universal and everybody wants to play not only the sweep, but the reverse sweep as well. Now it's become a bread and butter shot. Earlier, a sweep shot was played only to a good ball. In the sense, when a ball is bowling extremely tight, the batters, when they were driving and not getting anything, to disturb the line and length, they found a way of sweeping and disturbing and, you know, putting doubts in the minds of a bowler. Today, in, with the advent of T20 and the T10 as well, what's happening is everyone wants to sweep and reverse sweep just to destroy the bowlers. We want to get runs any which way. But then, this shot is fraught with risk as well. So we need to be judicious, we need to be careful. If we can sweep well, yes, like uh, Tom said, it could be a game changer. But then, I've seen many a downfall because in our you know, uh, uh, eagerness to sweep the ball, we are picking wrong ones at times. It's a, I think it's suicidal to try and sweep an over-pitched ball. And I've seen in the last uh, WPL, the Women's Premier League, as well as uh, IPL, I've seen so many of them get out trying and sweeping the wrong one. An uh, over-pitched ball could be suicidal. So we need to be reading line, we need to be, uh, you know, be very careful and judicious in executing this shot. The other thing which comes to my mind is it was known to be a predetermined shot. But I would like to call it a pre-planned shot. The difference between determination and pre-planning. The determination is come what may I'm going to sweep. You're determined to sweep. Whereas it should be, it should be planned. If it is there, I'm going to sweep. If this is the length, I'm going to sweep. Now that way, you could have some kind of security, some kind of safety of not throwing your wicket away. Believe me, no shot, no run is uh, more valuable than your wicket. You have to make sure that you get runs, but safely. You have to secure yourself first. Now, in anything that you do in life, more so in cricket, you must know what to do, why to do, when to do and how to do. Now what to do, we're talking today about the sweep shot, that's a given. Why to do, it could be to destroy the line and length of a bowler, it could be to get those quick runs that we're after, it could be acceleration, it could be just about putting, uh, planting doubts in the bowler's mind. We don't want them to be, you know, taking things easy. We want to put uh, doubts in their mind, make them work harder and whatnot. So that's about why. And when, not every time, like I said, don't sweep an over pitch ball. You don't need to sweep a full toss. You don't need, you cannot sweep a short pitch one. It is only the better length ball that you can. All right, and then finally, how to do it. The technique, the technical part of it. It's not very, very difficult. If you practice that, everyone can learn. And it can be like, I repeat, it can be a game changer. Now, what is the technique? First thing, First thing is reading line and length. Line. If it's in line with the stumps, we know the ball has to, when you sweep, it travels through the square leg. If we are trying to sweep a ball which is slightly outside leg and trying to sweep through a square leg, maybe we are inviting trouble because we are in danger of top edging the ball. If the ball is pitching outside leg, the best sweep is to go through fine leg. Go through fine leg. And also you see today, the slog sweep or sweeping from outside the off. An off spinner bowling tight lines and lengths is bowling well outside off and not giving you enough uh, opportunity to score. You could go across, which is called the slog sweep. But this time, remember, the ball cannot travel to square leg. It has to go through mid wicket. So eventually you'll realize that all these shots, when you play from in line with the stumps, it's traveling through square leg. Outside leg, it's traveling through fine leg. And outside off, when you sweep, it's traveling through mid wicket. So you realize that each time, the ball is traveling at 90 degrees from the point of impact. 90 degrees from the point of impact. So it is, in other words, we call it here at the KIO. See, we say it's a 90 degree shot. Just the same way as the pull shot. Now, how to do it? First thing, read line and length. 
and then you decide if it's in line. Let's go with a conventional sweep which is in line with the stumps. It can be a little risky if you miss, you are at the risk of losing your, uh, getting out, you're losing your wicket. So make sure that you read the ball well, you have your eyes on the ball at all times. Now, as you read the line, you're watching the ball and you have to synchronize how you go deep on your right knee if you're a right-hander. With the head forward, high to low, head forward, watch the ball, full arm extension and bang you go. Now, execution, it comes through practice. Now, as you go down on your knee, if you can just move back a little please. Make sure you're watching the ball very carefully. Smell the ball as we say or take your eyeballs to the cricket ball. Sweep and when you sweep, you must look at the impact. You must look at the point of impact and let the ball go through square leg. All right. Now, if the ball is outside leg stump, I would rather go there, watch the ball, my foot comes a little bit across, you sweep through fine leg. You sweep through fine leg. Key points, high to low, full arm extension, head forward of the knee, smell the ball, take a head forward, sweep hard. Remember, the sweep, you could use the pace of the ball, but it's not a defensive shot. It is an attacking shot, it's a run-making shot and I hardly see anyone playing a sweep for a single. Each time you play a sweep, you're hoping that you're getting a boundary. Today they're getting even sixes with this. All right? If you're playing a lofted sweep, you need to get under. This time it's not high to low, but the full arm extension is the key. Now this is an important aspect. Full arm extension, head forward, go down on your... Uh, if you're a right-hander, right knee, left, if you're a left-hander. So this is the way we go about. And then how do you master this? Hundreds and thousands of sweep shots. How do we start? First, we start with the static ball. Can I have some balls, please? All practices, I suggest, we start with static ball. Watch the ball, get into position, sweep. You could do this dozens of times. And then you could get into a dynamic ball. No, ball down, I guess. First is static ball, dynamic ball with squatting. Then you're up, go on your knee, sweep. Sweep. Static, up, down, sweep. Do that again. Up, down, sweep. How do you finish? You wrap yourself with your arms, finish over your shoulder. That gives you the bad swing and a good power. And then you can go on to the dynamic feeds. Over pitched. Go, one more. That's the way to go. So this is the progression, static, dynamic. And then you can progress to one uh, conventional orthodox sweep, one reverse sweep. Now this is, which is very popular, the reverse sweeps, scoops and whatnot. So the progression is fairly simple. And then from here, you could move on to the throwdowns and then to the bowl, maybe bowling machine and then the bowlers.